Forsyth County leaders discussing plans for more than $36 million in opioid settlement money. WXI 12's Kara Peters shows us how county leaders plan to use all that money. This money will be stretched over an 18 year span. Distribution started about two years ago, and the plan is to hold community sessions like this one tonight and to provide resources like peer support specialists to help combat the opioid crisis. Millions of dollars pouring into Forsyth County to help combat opioid addiction. It's an issue that continues to plague North Carolina and the triad. Forsyth County received 1,648 overdose calls during the 2023-2024 fiscal year. The average age, 41 years old. 47 deaths were reported in the county that same fiscal year. The average age for that, 43 years old. County and municipal leaders chiming in on ways the community can partner together to combat the opioid crisis. King Mayor Rick McCraw says one strategy they're implementing is educating seniors on how to handle Narcan. Because a lot of seniors now are raising grandchildren uh, or maybe a, another senior mate that may have taken their you know, medicine twice and then they need to have Narcan. And to be able to be educated to administer Narcan if, if, the, if it arises that you need to do that. But the focus is also on young people. Cheryl Wilson lost her son to fentanyl in 2020. She says the next step in this conversation is erasing the stigma surrounding Narcan. It enables breathing, it enables life, it enables um, a family to remain intact by distributing naloxone to anyone in need and sometimes to those not in need because I feel that they might be eventually. Um, and it's how I keep my son alive. County leaders say this opioid settlement money does have some limitations. It must be used on evidence based treatment and for prevention. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit our website at WXII12.com. In downtown Winston-Salem, I'm Kara Peters for WXII 12 News.